add a bay window to the dollhouse. Like maybe a cute little window with a seat in it and then some shelves on the side? We are going to make our room using foam board from the dollar store, recycle clear plastic from packaging, leftover fabric, felt, and glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. I start by measuring a 13 inch by 15 inch rectangle. Cut on the line drawn to use for our back wall. I cut a second rectangle that is 15 by 12 inches to use for the floor. Using a ruler, I begin planning my window on the floor. On the 15 inch side, I draw a line three inches from the edge, then make another three inch mark on the line on both ends. Take the wall and transfer the marks at the bottom. Go up three inches on the wall and draw a large rectangle that corresponds with the lines drawn on the floor. Cut it out. On the floor, draw the shape of the window. I drew diagonal lines going two inches in on both sides. Use the cutout from the wall to make rectangles to fit the angles. Cut another piece of foam board for the back. Take leftover pieces of foam board and cut two trapezoids the same shape as our drawing. Using the trapezoid as a base, double check all of your measurements and make adjustments where needed. Take the rectangles, cut out windows, cut clear plastic from packaging to glue on the back side of the window. So our windows look like they have glass. Glue the bottom trapezoid into the cutout so it's right on top of the edge. Repeat for the top, glue the windows to the trapezoids. Before I glued it down, I can see that I go over the edge just a little, so I'm gonna need to trim that. But foam board is easy to cut, so we make adjustments where needed. I glued on the sides first, now I'm adding the back panel to make our bay window. Ooh, I like the way this is turning out. On the floor, I glue down grass scrapbook paper, glue the wall to the floor, cut leftover foam board from the window cutouts into three inch triangles, glue them underneath the window for support so the seat on the inside can handle the doll's weight. Then on the inside, cut the ends off of jumbo craft sticks, glue them onto the floor, staggering the length as I go to make a hardwood floor. Cut foam board into one inch strips, glue them onto the walls on the sides of the window. I glued two on each side, cut smaller pieces to glue between to make two shelving units on the sides. Cut leftover foam board into half inch and quarter inch strips. Use it to add trim on the inside and we're gonna clean up the back, covering all of the glue spots on the clear plastic. I cut a trapezoid of black foam to glue right on top for a roof. Glue artificial plants to the bottom so when they're inside, they can see a little nature outside the window. Let's turn it around and go back inside. On a piece of paper, I draw the trapezoid that is the same shape as the seat. Add a seam allowance, cut it out, use it as a pattern to cut two pieces of fabric and one piece of felt. Lay the fabric good side to good side on top of the felt. Sew a straight line along the edge, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a cushion for the window. Make smaller squares for pillows. Decorate the shelves with accessories to finish our doll bay window, where our dolls can cuddle up and enjoy the view. Speaking of views, we can place our doll backyard behind it so they can look out into the garden. Then place another one of our rooms beside it to expand our dollhouse. Thank you for joining us while we made a doll bay window. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting!
want to give a shout out to B and R Sisters. What's up? I think I am going to claim this spot. Ah! Sorry, didn't see you there. Well, maybe there's space for the both of us. Okay, never mind. You can have it. I'll just sit right here until your nap is over. Listen to us, cheers.